Factor in 2013, Dami M has gone on to produce number one albums and singles and has given us hits including Super Love, we got this Alive, and Gladiator. She's the highest placing Aussie at Eurovision with her song Sound of Silence. And in this voiceover person's opinion, she was robbed. Dami M now joins Nick, Jess and Simon. Dami M, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm so excited to have you in studio, Dami. I love you. I love your music. I'm having a little fangirl moment. Sorry, boys. And so am I because I just love saying that we're having a Dami M interview. Oh, my gosh. Oh, thank don't you embarrass guys. us, mate. <laughs> wow, thank you. So, why, okay, so Jess, why, why do you love Dami M so much? Because uh, you've been excited about this since three hours ago. You've been yes. banging on about this. Um, to be, your music, your voice, so powerful, so soulful. I remember your X Factor days. I remember you doing Purple Rain, um, and you had all the purple lighting and effects, and then Eurovision, Sound of Silence. I think you command the stage. Your presence is incredible. Um, I'm... Yeah. You're sitting in front of a, a crazy fan. I know. I'm really sorry they let me <laughs> in the building. <laughs> <laughs> no, but even just that package, your music yeah. is extraordinary. You're, you're absolutely killing it, girlfriend. I'm so excited. I haven't heard the new single, Crying Underwater, and I'm so excited you've got new music out. Yeah, so, yeah. Good on you. Thank well you. done. Thank you. It's, it's my new song in like three years. Yes, it's I know. Forever, so. Why so long? Well, I've been doing other stuff. I've been touring. I've been, you know, releasing like concept albums, things like that. But I'm... Mm-hmm. Um, you know, my biggest passion is writing songs and releasing my own songs. So, you know, like, I'm just really glad I'm back into it now. Yeah, yeah. you know, you got some time so you could actually focus. Tell us about Crying Underwater. So, um, this one's a really personal song. So, you know, I was talking to my friend, uh, Michael Tan, about, um, you know, how there's so many people that are going through depression and, you know, sad feelings or whatever whatever you call it yeah but it it can be really hard to actually talk to somebody about it and especially with social media there's like i feel like there's so much pressure on society to always look like everything's fine Mm -hmm. and you know even for me like i look at instagram and like you scroll down and it looks like everybody's having like the best time and i'm the only person like you know, when you're in that mood, you're like, wow, I'm a loser. I'm the only person in the world that feel like this. And, yeah, that's that's kind of what the song's about. Because if you're crying underwater, you can't actually see Such good images. Images. whether you're see crying tears. or not. And, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it's just, I had to just let it out there. Yeah. Um, mm. And uh, you're also doing a, a tour as well. Nelson Bay and Belmont is included. Tickets at darmym.com. Yeah, it's this weekend. Yeah, Yay. I saw that recently you got a few gifts backstage from a few fans, mm-hmm. uh, which is really mm-hmm. nice. Have you ever got anything weird backstage from any fans? Um, weird gifts? Well, my favourites are like all the chocolates and things, the bad <laughs> stuff. Um, so, so just get it out there. Uh, what chocolate should we be giving Darmy M if we're giving her a backstage gift? Uh, chocolates, well, anything that's got like... Oh, like uh, do you like caramel milk? You know, that, you know that caramel milk that's going around at the moment? The Cadbury's white caramel milk? Yeah, Cadbury's caramel milk. before. Oh, Isn't everyone's raving about caramel milk. Right. You've got to some caramel milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I have to try that on. But yeah, yeah no, I used to be uh, obsessed with um, the Scotch fingers. Like, oh, sorry. Yeah. This is <laughs> Are you eight? <laughs> and then, you look great for 80. <laughs> but, and, then, and then someone uh, recommended that there's a chocolate version of that. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And then I got onto that. I'm like, oh my God, this is so great. And then now I'm, I'm sick of that. So I'm, I'm moving on to okay. something else. So maybe the caramel. Maybe the caramel. Yeah, yeah. you've got to try it. <laughs> well, actually, when I say you've got to try it, I fell for the social media. Everyone getting the hype, right? Right. Tried it. it it's not good. Oh, it's just oh, like, oh, did, okay. did, did oh, you, did, right. what, what was that? Well, I don't know. Just I just wasted thought, my. I know. Two I, I basically wasted your time. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried a, like a white Fredo frog before? Yeah. It tastes like that. Oh. Yeah. Exactly. But the hype, oh, it's, it's like that. The disdain. Oh, do you know? I have to say, white chocolate is. It's not chocolate. Sorry. No. Oh. It's not chocolate. Yeah, there's no cocoa beans. Shouldn't it be called chocolate? Well, it just doesn't taste like chocolate. I mean, what's it like for you? You're living in Brisbane. Uh, do, like, do, do, you know, especially after doing Eurovision, do people come up to you in the streets and talk to you or like, do you kind of get to f- fly under the radar up there in Brizzy? I feel like since I've changed my hair colour or something, people just... People don't recognise me. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was easy. So are you saying to me, <laughs> excuse joints? me, I'm Dami Im? Well, no, I mean, like, sometimes, you know, when I go to, like, a cafe or a shopping centre and, yep. and my song's being played, 
you yes. know. And then, then I'd be looking around like, hey, like, <laughs> hey, it's me. me. <laughs> it's me, but no, but no. one's no, saying, oh, that's no, you. No. Yeah. And I'm like, Did you yeah, just bust like out super love live version? People are like, geez, could this chick pipe down? I'm trying to listen to Damien <laughs> yeah. on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I can't be, you know, you can't be like, <clears throat> Super love. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, but, yeah, I don't know. Is it like nice being hands. recognized? Like, do you like being recognized or is it something that you don't want? I used to, to be very honest, I used to really hate it. Right. Like, when it first started to happen, like, X, after X Factor in yeah. 2013, um, I, I was just not prepared for it. Yeah. Like, you know, because when you're on TV, like, you don't know what's going on outside and then you get out and everyone suddenly just knew me and As I an found opinion. that yeah, yeah I found it really quite scary at the start I think yeah. yeah it's not something that came naturally to me but then after a while it was it was you know it was fine and then you know it's just like part of you know what, what lets me do what I do but then now um after my hair <laughs> change it's like I'm sort of like hello hi. back incognito <laughs> um yeah. Now, I've got to, I apologise to the entire Hit family listening and you two in the studio as well. I've got a very kind of s- specific question for you here. A friend of mine's a musician and his stage name is Damien D. Now, oh. your Twitter handle is Dami and Music and it looks like Damien D Music. <laughs> He's A, quite annoyed with you that you took his handle, but B, he was wondering if you get any messages... They're trying to hire Damien D as a musician because he does like weddings and parties and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, if you could pass them on to him. Okay. What, this is, is this real? Like yeah, your real. mate? Yeah, mate Not of mine some in Melbourne. random on Twitter. No. It well, I, okay, so, so I have to. I'm sorry, Damien D, that this has happened to you. That's very tragic. But first of all, I wanted to be Dami M. Yeah. And it's taken. Right. It's taken by some... So you're suffering Damien D's problem. <laughs> yeah, and so, all right, I want to ask Dami M, uh, a, 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 a African-American lady, yeah. mm. um, do you get any requests <laughs> for, weddings. for me? Yeah. And if you can please pass, if you're listening for, mm. by any chance, someone, you know, pass it on to her. Uh, yeah, please let let her know. The yeah. American American Dami is getting hit up for Celebrity Apprentice. Yeah, yeah. 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 the Ellen <laughs> Show or something. <laughs> I'm missing out. Oh. So. Oh. We'll track her down and then try. And, and, and if I get any messages from D- Damien D, I'll I promise I'll pass All right. it on. What's and I wonder if Dami like, him, him a plug. I, get, I mean, Damien D, get around him if you're, yeah. in, if you're in Melbourne <laughs> I'm, I'm and somehow I'm listening to Newcastle <laughs> Radio and need someone for a wedding. Um, Dami, look, before we let you go, we are having a bit too much fun with you, but I do need to ask for your advice. So uh, coming up November 6th, we are hosting a lip sync battle, uh, right. our initiative to battle violence against women here locally. Um, so all three of us had to pick a song to perform on the night, and I have taken on the task I will perform lip syncing one of your tracks, your Eurovision Ooh. track, Sound of Silence. <laughs> It's such a great song. Yeah. I'm picturing, oh. you know, dry ice and real moody lighting. Do you have any advice, performance, performance advice maybe uh, for my... Mind? No one... That was the first time the boys have revealed what the yeah. song is, but I thought I can't let Damien come and go and not, and not ask you. Wow. So you're doing that song? Oh, my yeah. gosh, that's so cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, my God, I have to see... Is this going to be online? I have to see I'm uh, sure it will be online. Please do, please do. Um, well... When you're doing it, um, make sure try and get a wind machine. Yes, <laughs> boys, I need to hold hair dryers or something out here, maybe, yep. Yep. and wear something with a big, big tray. Tra- okay, like a big cape yeah. or something, yep. so it flies around, or fringing or something. Okay, mm. fringing mm. and wind machine. Yeah, uh-huh. because like me being 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 Asian, like I have small eyes, small features, so when there's other stuff hanging off me, it just makes it a bit more dramatic. Okay. You know? Otherwise, no one can really see me. So that's my advice. I mean, okay. you've got nice, gorgeous big eyes. Thank you. That's a kind. No okay, problem. wind machine, fringing. Do it from Dummy. Love it. Thank no. you. All right, All right. great. Well, uh, get around the new single, <laughs> Crying Underwater, available to download and stream now. And you can see her on tour at Nelson Bay and Belmont. Visit dummym.com. Have you been to Nelson Bay yet? I haven't. This is my first time to go. It's uh, the most amazing place on earth. Oh my gosh! Beautiful. Beautiful. I, I, it's I the best. I can't wait. It's, I love it up there. Yeah, I'm going on f- this Friday. So, uh, what, do you? I recommend that you do Mount Tomaree. 
Mountain range. Do the walk. Are you into climbing, a, yeah. hiking, yeah, yeah, walking? Walk. It's a it's a very manageable walk, and then you okay. get a great manageable sense. Manageable sounds good. Not, nothing too too hard. Yeah, but not, when you get the top, you'll feel like you're overseas. It's Do you amazing know what? up there. Get yeah. up the top. Get someone to take a wind machine up for you. It'd be great. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Great photo up with the beautiful view. Oh, man, I mean, yeah, you won't need a wind machine up there, right? Yeah, you true. Get the wind. Wind. I love it. My kind of place.